I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the meaning of area and perimeter. Now, they're both similar in that they both address two-dimensional um, objects, but uh, the definitions of both are actually very, very different. So let's go into a brief discussion as to what each of them means. Now, with perimeter, we're often talking about the distance around a two-dimensional object. So for example, if you have a rectangle, we're talking about, in terms of perimeter, the distance around the rectangle. So that's what perimeter is, the distance around a particular uh, shape. So in this case, as you can imagine, the perimeter is going to be twice the length plus twice the width. Now, that applies, again, to all shapes when it comes to perimeter, the distance around the two-dimensional shape. Area is going to be a little bit different because the area refers to the amount of space inside a two-dimensional object. Oftentimes when we talk about area of a house, area of a yard, things like that, we're talking about how much space is actually inside that particular uh, shape. So, so using the rectangle as we had before for a perimeter, we're talking about how much space is inside the rectangle itself. So perimeter, we're talking about the outside. Area, we're talking about the inside. And as you might remember from before, the area of a rectangle is length times the width. And the only other thing I want to talk about is with perimeter, your final units tend to be linear units, like feet, inches, meters, what have you. Whereas an area, because you're talking about the amount of space, you're measuring two dimensions at a time, your answer in units when it comes to area would be in square units, like square inches, square feet, things like that. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the meaning of area and perimeter.